Let's create an NPM script to run Prettier specific to that project. Before we do that, let's install Prettier as a project dependency. Okay, install Prettier, save dev. And there we have it. Okay, so now we can invoke prettier specific from our project bin directory. So basically we are going to create an npm script to do this. So let's run prettier from our local node modules using the single code formatting option and let's run it on the glob that's source star star ts and let's see what happens all right it spits out all the files that can be changed along with the changes and we can extend this to beyond just TypeScript to CSS and JSON as well. Great. Okay. So now let's add this to our NPM scripts so we can make it easy. on ourselves to invoke it okay there we go so we have the prettier command right here and just to go prettier basically does the same thing perfect now let's pass the right option to make all the changes in place and create a git change set. Great. So as you can see, there's the files that were changed have a different shaded color. And this will also create a change set, giving you all the changes that were made. See here, this is made more readable and the trailing comma is taken off and let's do the simpler ones some space there and much better perfect so this is how you can use an npm script to run the prettier command line across your code base.